In this video, I'll show you how to add certificates to your LinkedIn profile and how to use certificates to attract more clients. Let's get into it. So your license and certifications section showcases your licenses and certifications, but this basically proves that you're competent at what you're offering to your audience. That's the most important part of it. So the point of your licenses section is to prove that you've done this before, add some easy social proof, because it's really easy to get these certificates if you know what you're doing as well as to show any certificates you've gained already because you might have done some online courses in the past and all of these will help your credibility and help you attract more clients because this gives potential clients more confidence in your skills as a person who does whatever you do. Here's what you should include in your licenses section or certificate section, certification section. Basically, just include the certifications which are relevant to your business. For example, I do content marketing, content strategy, SEO, basically digital marketing. But I also know, you know, music production and whatnot. So if I went through a music production course, I'm not going to now add my license, my music production course certificate here because it's useless. It does, it's not niche enough. It goes all over the gaff. No one who's vid visiting my LinkedIn profile will care about that because people who visit my LinkedIn profile care about writing content that attracts clients on YouTube and LinkedIn. So if it isn't relevant to your business, don't add it, don't even take that course because it's just wasting your time. Here are some easy places to find new certifications online. I will leave links in the description down below. So. First up is HubSpot Academy. Second is LinkedIn Courses. And third is Google Courses. Now, these are three places where you can get free courses, free with an asterisk with the LinkedIn Courses because technically you need to be subscribed to LinkedIn Premium to get access to those courses. But if you get the LinkedIn Premium trial and go through the courses which give you social proof really, really quickly, then you can get that done for free as well. So this is how to add a certificate to your certificate section and how to add the certificate section in all. So over here on this profile, we currently do not have a certificate section. In order to add it, you go to add profile section, then you go to recommended, then add license and certifications. Now at this point is where you'd actually add your certification, you'd add the URL and all the information here, but I'm gonna show you how to do that specifically for LinkedIn Learning and HubSpot. So I'm not gonna show you how to do that right here, but here's where you add all your information. Then you can also add a skill and then you can save this. So that's super easy, super straightforward. Now let's go back to my actual profile. And first we'll go to LinkedIn Learning and show you how that's done. So we go to LinkedIn Learning and here we're in LinkedIn Learning. At this point, you go to my library, then go to learning history, and then go to a course that you've completed. Click these three dots and go to download certificate. At this point, you click LinkedIn Learning Certificate and then you copy this and here you add this as a certificate and then you just add your credential URL here and you add the name as well as the organization. Organization will be LinkedIn. The name of this is Content Strategy for Marketers. Also, when you are doing LinkedIn learning courses, make sure that they come with certificates as well. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. So make sure that it says certificate. I'll show you quickly what it looks like. So let's say I want a course on SEO. As you can see, this says certificate eligible this means that you can get a certificate if you go through this this does not say certificate eligible so if you go through this you will not get a certificate so make sure that it says certificate eligible otherwise you know you might learn something but you're not going to be able to show everyone that you've learned it and seems like there are a lot of courses that do not have certificates there so make sure you're doing the courses with the certificate there so that you can display that on your profile. Next up is HubSpot Academy. So let's go to Academy and here we go to My Learning. Then we go to a course that we've completed and go to View Certification. At this point, you can go to Share Your Achievement. Then you can click LinkedIn License and Certifications. And the great thing is this just sets it up for you. So it's got the name, it's got the organization, it's got the URL, it's got the ID, it's got everything you need, even the issue date, the expiration date. All you need to do is maybe add a skill because it's content marketing, so I could add content marketing to it, and then just click Save and you're done. Like Hub HubSpot is really, 
a very smooth, beautiful process. And that's that. If you want to turn views into followers and turn followers into clients, you can do that by optimizing your LinkedIn profile using my LinkedIn profile optimization checklist. Scan the QR code on the screen right now or click the link in the description to download that. And this checklist is absolutely free, so you've got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to download this checklist because it won't be free and available forever. Click that link and download it now. If you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video.